Every single time I've been here and uh, have gone back home, I've just been re-energized in the sense that uh, I, I have a responsibility to the community around me to encourage others to follow in the footsteps and to keep giving back and to do more to give back. Um, there's a very humbling reality about coming to Blickisdorp and walking around the streets of the community and realizing what conditions people live under. And when you sit here with the children and you see the hunger in their eyes to want to have a prosperous life, to have their dreams come true, whatever those dreams may be, uh, as every single one of us is entitled to, um, and to realize that there is such little opportunity and it's only through organizations like Hope Cape Town that that possibility is there, that the hope that they could achieve those dreams is there. Um, we've established the Container Village here in 2009 and we provide a variety of community projects here. Um, we have a soup kitchen, we have a community garden where people are trained how to, uh, how to um, provide for themselves um, and how to garden and plant uh, vegetables and herbs. Uh, we have a variety of crafts programs, and then we have um, Tani Maria Sikinish, uh, which you'll um, which you which you also see. What do you think that the presence of Hope Cape Town in a community like Blicky's Dort means to the greater community? It was Hope who saw, well, here's a challenge with children who's not in school. This is a huge a huge um, this, this position mm. that these children have um, and the link to the community out there isn't there. Schools send them back, schools say we are full. If the ch child doesn't have a birth certificate they send him back and they just come back to this community sure. and say we, we'll try next year again. So hope is here to empower them. Um, and to be that link, to be that advocate for them, to go out in the bigger community and for a parent to say, but I'm not happy that my child is not in school. You can't do this, he should be in school. Yeah, yeah. And we send them back, we say, you go, because it's your child, your responsibility, you do this. So we've been doing this for three, four years, mm. but hope has been established here for so many years longer, yeah. mm -hmm. because there's also other projects it's not only the children, it's all also the adults. Um, it's everybody, the whole community that, that can come to the seat. Well, I think what we, we try aim and do here is um, sort of while they're waiting to get into school, yeah. we give them some sort of stimulation. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got a puzzle um, challenge kind of going to see okay. how, how big they can build. So we needed some bigger piece puzzles, so okay. that'll add to that. Um, so they just see it as play, but what we see it as is more working on other things and mm -hmm. fine motor skills and visual perceptual skills so that when at least they do go to school, we have worked on some of those skills already. Yeah. Dumela, says Fedi, in Fedi. Dumela. 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 See, when you say hello, you have to smile. You have to say, Dumela. And that's how you say hello in Pedi. My name is Anastasia and I'm a general assistant. I'm making food for the cooking for the kids, their breakfast, their lunch. And I'm making on a Wednesday the soup for the community of Lucky Soap. As I'm a resident of Lucky Soap, I'm staying here for 10 years. So I do know my community so far as I live here. From A block until P block, because I'm moving around, I'm doing house bookings for Maria and I'm um, doing service, taking people to hospitals, their babies, frail patients, booking them in hospitals and going to look how they are at home. There's a lot of counselling work, really a lot of counselling work and they get, also the healthcare approaches is for example, they get food every, um, when they are here, the children, they get food and they enjoy the food. They, they, um, some of them are really hungry when they come and they, they get food and they get healthy food. That's a, re a very um, a big thing or important thing. And they see, okay, this is also kind of food you can eat. Some children, I think, they don't really get a porridge or um, some healthy uh, vegetables uh, for lunch. And that's, they can see, okay, I can eat 
these things, not only chips or whatever. You know, it's not only the health care approach, it's the whole approach and you need, for your whole health, you need everything. And that's the good thing, I like this. And when I googled um, Health Captain, I saw that it's not only one approach, they have the the whole approach. Here especially, I would like to see a few more containers, more space for the children, good materials. I think there is, we have now really more and more good materials for the children to work with them. Maybe really a volunteer who is always here continuously, that would be great. She says, hello there friend. I wonder if you know. I wonder if you know. Another way to say hello. Hello. <laughs> Yay! Was that nice? Yes. Did you enjoy that? Yes. I think it's exactly in the name of the organization um, that made me want to be a part of it because it provides so much hope to communities and especially children who would otherwise be without it. Um, when Father Stefan asked me a few years ago to be involved, you know, I took some time to think about it, to read up on the organization, to come around and see the work that they do and realizing just the, the absolute vulnerability of these children um, in this community in Glückisdorp and the many other um, places that, that hope services, for instance like the, the children in the hospital, uh, you realize that without efforts uh, like my own and the staff that are here, these children have no one else to count on and it's incumbent on us as those who can and those who have been given so much in terms of privilege and being able to live a life that is beyond our dreams to plow back into the community um, and it's been an absolute privilege being part of it. It's not just about necessarily going on Google and reading a bio or a beautifully written up PR script. Go there, see the people meet the people, talk to them about the experience and I think it's only in that that you'll find a true connection that will guide you and your heart to say well this is the organization that I want to support and that's why I chose Hope Cape Town. Yeah, that is awesome! That is so, so cool!